I know that you hear this a lot, but get your tea, get your snacks, do whatever you need to do because this is going to be a video that we're going to get in depth with all 26 of my foundations that I have in my foundation collection right now. Welcome to you all. I'm so glad that you're here. Yes, I do have 26 foundations that I'm going to be sharing with you today. I also want to say that I realize that 26 foundations is not the average woman out there, but this is what I do for a job and a career. So I do test out an extraordinary amount of foundations all the time. But what kills me is this is a fraction of what's out there on the market. So if you have foundations that you absolutely love, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to start out with telling you, first of all, that I I am normally very, very dry and I use a foundation usually that's quite dewy, but lately I have been having my menopausal hot flashes or my power surges, however you want to say it. And I have been really experiencing something different with my skin. I get oily through the T-zone. So now I have to switch over and say, yes, I do have very dry skin. I like a dewy finish, but I have to address this T-zone issue all the time. Most of these foundations are geared toward the dry, mature woman. They don't settle into fine lines. They don't settle into wrinkles. They are going to give you a beautiful canvas. I usually do go for a very full coverage foundation, but I do have quite a few medium coverage foundations, which I will start with. I have a huge mix of drugstore and high-end. I buy high-end foundations to see if I can dupe them and to see what all the hype is about. Foundation is something I don't mind splurging on. It is the canvas of our face normally after skincare and definitely always want my canvas to look flawless. So we're going to start out in no particular order. We're going to do the medium first. I'm going to try and go back and forth between a drugstore and then a high end. Let's start out with the number seven lift and luminate serum foundation. This is a medium foundation, but it can be built up to be a full foundation in two coats. I love that there, it is a glass bottle. It is a pump. I love that. And I also love that the packaging looks sleek and pretty. I'm a sucker for packaging, but what's inside is what's usually important to me. This is a medium thickness foundation. So when you put it on that first coat, you're going to get that medium coverage. So if you have a lot of blemishes, like I do a lot of blemish scarring through this area, I go in with a second coat, usually on my cheeks or wherever else I may have had any blemishes at the time. This covers so well. It lasts all day long. I love that about it. The finish on it is a very natural looking finish. This is the one I do have on today. I wanted to start out with that. So this side is the one that I have the Lift and Luminate on. I want you to look and see how gorgeous it is. You can't really see any of the discoloration that I have from my scarring or my dark spots through here. Let me tell you that I am not somebody that uses a makeup brush or my fingers. I use a dampened beauty sponge. I dampen that, make sure that it's wrung out really well and then I take a little towel and just squeeze it one time so most of the water is out of it and then I will spray that sponge with Max Fix Plus or whatever other primer water I have to be able to shear that foundation out just a little bit to give a little bit more co natural coverage instead of the foundation look. I always go in with a thinner amount to begin with because you can always add more you can't take off. So you start out with that light amount and then you're not looking cakey throughout the day. So this is a two pump foundation for me when I'm using it on my whole face in covering you know, my chest, my neck, my decollete, my whole entire face the first time. And then I use about another half a pump to go through these areas that are really yucky and scarred up and they have the discoloration, the dark colors. So this one works really well, lasts all day long. I love this. The and dupe for it that I did put in a video quite a while ago is the Zoeva Authentic Skin Foundation. This acts so much like it. And I have this on this side, but Zoeva, the authentic skin, I feel like it just looks so so flawless and so pretty. I don't need the extra layer when I use this one. It does completely co cover in one coat. Both of these foundations act so much like each other in that they do have that skin-like appearance even though they have that medium to full coverage and you're going to get the lasting power throughout the day. Now, I, I do have one BB cream. I don't have any other BB creams. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm, but this is from Pure Lease. This is the Perfect Glow BB Cream and it has the SPF of 30. This says as oil-free moisturizing natural looking coverage matte meets glowy finish and I will tell you that it is a very glowy finish now this one to me is definitely a very medium to sheer coverage with one coat I can put three coats of this on I guess that's because it has the moisturization in it my skin just loves it I can put three coats of this on and be completely 
flawlessly covered full coverage and it doesn't look cakey or anything like that so i do love this one i love it on every day you know just want to put something on out the door two coats is the day when i want to be you know a little bit more polished three coats is when i get get the full coverage and i don't use three coats of any foundation normally but i do need to do that on this if i want to get the full coverage it's a beautiful glow to your skin a very natural radiant look to your skin unless you powder it down and when you powder it down it does look a little bit more matte and this is a gorgeous bb cream for anybody that is looking for a good bb cream i have loved this one since i started using it and i've never loved a bb cream before i really do like that then the next two i have i have done a dupe for these as well this is the number seven protect and perfect advanced all-in-one foundation with a sunscreen spf of 50 and the it cosmetic cc plus oil-free matte poreless finish finish full coverage spf of 40 so these are basically the same product i like the actual number seven one better because i feel like the finish is a little bit more dewy than any of the it cosmetics one i like it the it cosmetics one it was my ride or die forever until all these other foundations started coming out does come in a pump i do appreciate that about it this one is a squeezy tube from number seven but i do like the product that is in the number seven better it just works so much better for me i think that this one lasts better on me it gives a better finish on me it has the medium finish like i said um these are all medium that we're going over right now but this one can definitely go full coverage whereas i feel like the it cosmetic cc one stays between medium and medium full just so you know that i love how long wearing these are I love this one for giving me that beautiful soft look to my face the dewy look without being You know any breakthrough or anything like that So I like both of these but I think I like the number seven a little bit better and then from flower beauty I have the color porcelain or l1 This is the lightest color that they make currently and I love this. This is a very serum like foundation to me, too This foundation looks so luxe in the packaging. It has the gold accents. It has the embossing it has the glass jar. I just think this could rival any high-end if you saw it at a high-end counter You wouldn't know that it was drugstore, but what's inside is really great now This is definitely again a medium coverage foundation. It does give me a soft dewy look It is called light illusion for a reason because it does have those light reflecting properties to it I can get this to be a medium full coverage by get putting again the extra coat right here on my cheeks where I need it so badly the finish on this is so flawless and so pretty for for a lot of reasons a lot of people like this now I will say that this particular one It doesn't matter what color I buy whether i'm deeper in the summertime or you know Very pale like I am right now I have to put a color corrector in with this and a lot of these foundations I have to do that with so I use the la girl color corrector pro pigments and this is just a foundation mix in medium and i use the blue on it this blue will get any of your foundations to be on the cool side now if you're somebody that is more a warm toned gal and you're finding that you can't find a warm enough foundation they do have this in an orange and they do have it in a yellow so if you lean more towards a peach undertone you want to go with that orange if you lean more towards a, a golden undertone you want to go with that yellow and then and the cool is the actual blue they also have a white if you always find that your foundations are too dark they have a white that will lighten any foundation now back to the flower beauty light illusion it is a beautiful foundation i will say that of all of my foundations this is probably wears the least amount of time but i really don't mind that because it is such a flawless foundation and a beautiful look to your skin it really does have that beautiful cast of a candlelight glow for your skin i love that one very recently i did a comparison on each side with the estee wear double wear light foundation and this one which is the estee lauder futurist hydra rescue foundation this one one also has an SPF in it of 43 I think it says now my color is fresco on this one and I actually did declutter the double wear light because I love this one so much more this is a very dewy finish on my skin I love it for my dry skin Going into winter, this is going to be a fantastic foundation for me. The reason that I decluttered the other one is because I felt like I had so many others here and, and I wanted to pass that on to a family member that I know it would be perfect with. So I got rid of that one, kept this one because of my dry skin. And I just think it is such a beautifully performing foundation for anybody that is older. I love that it has those hydrating properties in it. So your foundation is going to look a little bit more fresh throughout the day. 
day. I didn't have to touch this up. It lasts all day long. I feel like this is one of my very favorite foundations, and I just love the way it performs on my skin. There's never any breakthrough. It does give me the fantastic coverage that I love in one coat. So even though I put this in the medium pile because it definitely could be sheared out to have that medium look to it, for me, it covers so beautifully, and I don't have to go back in to these areas because it just seems to cover so nicely. So very lightweight foundation as well. Not a heavy feel on it at all. The next one is the Dewy Foundation from Wet n Wild, their Photo Focus Dewy Formula. Actually, I'll just talk about the matte at the same time. The matte is more of a very full coverage where this one is a medium to full coverage. Now you can, again, build this one up. What I love to do with these two foundations is marry them together and I come up with something absolutely perfect for me. In the Dewy, I have the color Soft Ivory and in the matte, I have the color Rose Ivory. The two colors together are perfect too. I don't really, I didn't really plan on doing that, but that's how it worked out for me. And I love it when they get together what they do. They give that little bit of dewiness still, but you have that bulletproof makeup for all day long. And I know that lots of people say that they don't like the smell of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, the famous paint smell, but it doesn't really stay with me. I don't feel like I have that paint smell on my skin all day long. And I love the way that they look together. It gives that natural, beautiful finish, full coverage for me without looking cakey. I don't ever have any breakthrough even through through my hot flashes. When I wear these two together, I just love them. When I wear them apart, I like them a little bit less. <laughs> so bringing them together was just perfection for me to be able to get it just the way I liked it on my skin. So love those two. And then the last medium coverage foundation I have is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I had to see what the hype was about this foundation. I haven't gotten a chance to try her other one, but this one is a pretty foundation, but it definitely is medium. And I can't can't really build it up to be the um, little bit fuller coverage even when I put it on this area. I can't really build it up. It does still show some of my skin through. So if you're somebody that really does like a natural look to your skin but you like the evenness of a tone that a foundation can give you, this is perfect for you. So I probably will at some point see if somebody else in my family likes this a little bit more. But right now I'm still working on using it. I still like it. It still does last all day long. I do notice that throughout the day I will have just a tiny bit of breakthrough around my nose when I have a lot of hot flashes. And I think that's just about the medium coverage of it. So this one I do like a lot. It's not one of my loves though. And, and then on to a higher end one. This is the Lancome Tint Idol. This one I love. I absolutely love. Same thing. It has that flawless finish to it. It has the full coverage finish to it. It is absolutely beautiful on the skin. Now I will say that at times I do have to go in through here if I shear that first coat out too much. So you might keep that in mind that you kind of have to work with it, play with it a little bit to see where your coverage lies. If you want a little bit thicker coverage, you might have to use just a tiny bit more. But in needing another coat, I don't really need another coat of it, not even through these areas. Once, Once I got the balance of how much I needed on there, because it doesn't cake up, it doesn't really show any creasing. It lasts all day. It's a beautiful foundation and it's so many people's ride or die foundation for good reason. I love this stuff. Next up is the new NARS Soft Matte Foundation. This foundation, I'm still testing, but I'm not 100% convinced that it is for the mature woman. It does have a tendency to look a little bit too cakey throughout the day if you're not real careful with it. And if I'm going to buy a foundation, I'm going to spend this kind of money on it. I want it to be a foundation that I can quickly and easily work with instead of having to baby it. My color is in Salzburg, and that is a pretty good color for me. It's still a little bit too yellow, so you know that. So if I were to recommend a NARS foundation, it probably wouldn't be this one. I think it's okay, and I'm going to continue to use it. I just don't think it's fantastic. And there, of course, has to be Ollie. He has to be in the middle of everything. <laughs> so me personally, I probably would skip that one. But I do have the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation and i love this one now this isn't in my right color this one is in deville salzburg was a little bit better of a color for me so you know that it does have the pump and it is in a glass bottle the other one is in a squeezy tube which i think is ridiculous when you take a look at how much they charge you for these foundations 
I do like this one delivery system better, but the product in there in here is 10 times better for the mature woman as well. So this is just a beautiful um, meld between the, the glowy and the matte. I just think it's gorgeous. So it does last all day, just like it says, and it won't have any breakthrough either. You're going to have just that flawless canvas all day long. What you put on in the morning is usually what you take off at night, unless you nap or something like that. But I do love this foundation. This has been in my arsenal ever since it came out. I think it came out like three or four years ago and I purchased an extra bottle of this. So it really is a beautiful foundation that I love using and I think it's great for the mature woman. And love that one. And then I tried the pure four in one love your selfie. This is okay. I have worked with this probably a half a dozen times so six or seven times i've tried it this is a plastic bottle and it has the pump on here but you also since it says it's four in one you also can use this with the doe foot applicator inside here as your concealer which is good because lots of times i think that we might get our concealer a little bit too light i always try to go one shade lighter than my foundation this and color is ln6 so you know that i like this foundation but i feel like it can easily get too thick on you because it can be used for concealer or foundation i feel like that's why they did that and made it a little bit more thick but on my skin it can look a little bit heavy if i'm not careful with it so again i use that spray on the sponge and i really do shear it out so one pump does me completely i don't have to go in with another pump i do think that if you're somebody that loves a very very full coverage foundation that you will like this the look of it isn't quite skin like i do feel like it is a little bit more matte i don't feel like you know if you're somebody that loves that skin like finish or a glowy finish it isn't either one of those it has a very matte look to it but it does look very flawless so i like it but it isn't my very favorite from number seven again this is another one the airbrush away foundation again cool ivory on this yes and i did have several number seven products in this lineup and while we're here i'll just talk about their um drops that they have that you can put in with anything you can put this in with any foundation and it will make it more full coverage i love that about these drops they're really good and then if you want to just do this just as your foundation you can do that too mix it in with a moisturizer you have a great bb cream mix it in with a moisturizer and sunscreen same thing it will do whatever coverage you want it to make it is really a customized product that you can use so if you find your right color in here this is perfect for mixing in with anything else but the actual airbrush away foundation drops that they have i really think these are great it is just a dropper dispenser right there Colors perfect for me. This gives full coverage, but very light on my skin. And I do love that about it. And I do feel like it's name of being airbrush away. It really does look like an airbrush foundation. This is an extremely light one. So don't feel like you're going to get a foundation that is going to look cakey or, you know, show creases or anything like that. It doesn't at all. It's just a beautiful foundation. I really like this one. This one has a little bit more of a matte finish on it. It is going to still look beautiful on the skin and have that airbrush look to it. It doesn't have any light reflecting properties so, so it's not going to have a dewy or glowy look to it i actually love this one in summer because there's no breakthrough on it whatsoever and it's super light so even if you sweat a little bit it's not going to break apart and show through or get modeled or anything like that beautiful beautiful foundation on that one one of the foundations that i absolutely fell in love with but it got really bad reviews from everybody else it's the tarte face tape foundation the double duty beauty and mine is in light neutral it's a really great color for me. It doesn't seem to be too yellow. It just has just the perfect blend of pink and yellow in there for me. And the other thing I love about this is it's finish. The finish on it is full coverage, but it doesn't look like it. It just looks like a beautiful skin-like canvas on my skin. And it has the ability to look very natural as well. And I like that about it too. I like how long it lasts. It lasts for me all day long. I don't have any breakthrough with this foundation. It is just a pretty foundation. It does have a plastic bottle, but it has one of those that goes up and it does have a pump dispenser. So I really do like this and I absolutely love the finish on it. And I loved everything about it. And it's one that, like I said, nobody else really liked, but I loved it. So it's one of those ones I can give a thumbs up to. And then I have the YSL All 
All Hours Foundation. And I did get this from Octoly. I'm not having to review it right now because I did my review for Octoly a couple of months ago. This is a glass bottle and it does have the pump dispenser again. This was an okay foundation. It's not my favorite one, but I keep it because I mix it with other foundations that I do love. It was a little bit of a letdown when I got it because I'd heard such beautiful things about this foundation. The claims of it are that it is a full coverage. I found that it is more of a medium coverage. I can get the full coverage out of it with the extra layers. I just felt like it fell short. It didn't really last on me all day long. It was one of those ones that even though it's a really high-end foundation, I'm not just going to sit here and tell you that it's all pink and roses because it just wasn't for me. It did break through just a little bit and it wasn't as long wearing. I did like the finish on it at first, but it wasn't what I liked throughout the day, just so you know on that one. And then I also have from NYX the Total Control Foundation Drops. I love this one again for it being, this one I have in natural. This is very, very dark on me. So you guys know that this is not a good color for me. I can mix it with the drops, the light, the white and the blue and get a good color. But I would just suggest that you look for a lighter color if you have my skin tone. I love the finish on this though. The finish on it is very light wearing. It is very thin. It is a very thin formula, but completely covers. It does the total control or total cover like it says it does. I've never had any problems at all mixing it with other foundations. It's beautiful when you do that. I can darken up other foundations because it is a darker color, but I love it on its own. No breakthrough, lasts all day long, beautiful finish on it. And what more could I ask for? This is just really, really great. It is one of those that I would purchase over again. Now this one, I was just sure that they were discontinuing it, but I had to eat my words. They are not. This is Physicians Formula Healthy Skin Foundation. This is a brightening complex foundation. I have mine in a very light color, which is FN3, which is Fair Neutral 3. This is really light on me. I would go for a deeper color if I was going to purchase this again. It does have an SPF in it. It does have that very dewy finish on it. It's not a glowy finish. It's more of a dewy finish on it. I do like this one very much. It's full coverage to me on the first go round. This is a beautiful foundation for a mature woman because it's not going to settle into any fine lines or wrinkles or show any texture, but you can get that full coverage from it and it will last all day. And I do love that it does have the extra, extra SPF in it, even though I don't rely on foundations for SPF. I do like having a little bit of added protection to it. And this is one of those ones that I go back to over and over again and I love so much. Another one that has been on my high up list of ones that I love is from Believe Beauty Foundation. You can get this at Dollar General. This is an absolutely gorgeous foundation you can't buy on the internet. You can only get it in stores. This is a beautiful finish, gorgeous delivery system by the way. This is a glass bottle gold accent on the pump and then the geometric design on the lid is it's great. It's beautiful the way that they packaged it. I still can't believe that this is only $5. The coverage on it is flawless. It covers all of my imperfections on the very first coat. This lasts all day. The it finish on it is very natural looking and it doesn't oxidize. It is an absolutely beautiful product inside this bottle and how they did it at $5, I have no idea. So instead of spending 50 on a NARS, go and spend five on a Believe Beauty and I promise you, you will be hooked. This is a great foundation for whether you're oily or whether you're very, very dry. It's a beautiful foundation, either one. Another one at the drugstore that is always in my drugstore recommendations of my top 10 is from Koki. This is their full coverage foundation. I didn't have luck with their initial one that they let out, that they released, but I do love this one. This one is exactly full coverage, but it doesn't have that cakey look to it. It has a very natural look to it. So I get that coverage that I want, but I don't get it settling into my fine lines, my wrinkles, and it just wears so pretty throughout the day as well. I love that this one doesn't have any breakthrough. It never settles into my pores or my fine lines. I love that it lasts all day. When you take it off at night, it looks pretty darn good. Let's be realistic. Most foundations, they don't look the same as when you put them on, but this one looks really good after eight, 10 hours of wear. And I really love it. I can, I would recommend it over and over again. The, from Makeup Revolution is the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I really liked their first one, um, but I'm glad that they changed up this dispenser. It does have a pump now. It is a glass jar. I do like that a lot. It is 
the perfect shade for me, which is F6. That's foundation six, I guess. And I really love how the hydrating one looks compared to the matte one. The hydrating one just looks a little bit more perfected on my aging skin. It does give that beautiful coverage like I need so that it ticks off that box and it lasts all day without any break apart. It's not gonna show any texture through my large pores. I definitely think this is a little bit more friendly to the mature woman because it does look more like skin than a foundation on and I love this one. I think it's just beautiful. All right, lastly is from Cover FX. This is their natural finish foundation and I like this one a lot. This is um, N20 is my color. Again, all of these are usually neutral, very fair tones. This one is in a squeezy tube. Again, I wish that they would do a little bit better packaging when you have to pay this price. I did get this one on a sale as they were closing them out, uh, out at Sephora. For us. So I was glad I didn't have to pay the full price for it. However, I love this one. It is a very, a very natural finish like it states. It does go on very easily and gives you that coverage that you need to cover any flaws that you need. Very even skin tone from it. I think that's the beauty of it is that even skin tone that you do get from it. I do sometimes, you know, depending on how bad my um, discoloration is on my cheeks, I sometimes will have to go in with that second coat, but I don't mind that because it's very lightweight. And I like that about it. No break apart throughout the day and it lasts a long time. So it checks off all those boxes. And that is all 26 foundations. That was a lot. I felt like I talked a lot. So I hope that you did enjoy this. Which one of these foundations have you tried and do you love or do you hate? Let me know in the comment section or if you have a different foundation that you've found at the drugstore or elsewhere that is absolutely your ride or die. I'd love to hear that too. Thank you so very much for spending a bit of your time with me today. Please give the video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I do appreciate that more than you know. And I hope that everybody has a great week or weekend wherever this video falls. Thank you so much again. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. And I have worn this several times. Hi Smuckers. What you doing? Come here. Say hi. Hi Mom. Hi Mom. Hi Mom. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? You could be being a good girl? Hi Lacey. Alright everybody's coming to visit. So this is Lacey. Hi Lacey. Hi Lacey. She's my toad. She needs to be on a diet. But oh, she's on a diet and she never loses any weight. So I don't know what to do with her. <laughs> she is my lovey girl. She loves her mama. And mama loves her. Oh, kisses. And mama loves her. So.